Hi there guys and girls, I just wanted to do a, a real quick video, or I'm hoping this will be quick, we'll see how we go, about uh, the recent Nintendo announcement, the 2DS. So a lot of people are hating on the 2DS, they're saying, oh it looks goofy, it looks stupid, it doesn't fold clothes, and there's no 3D option, and what's the point, and blah blah blah. I just wanted to add my two cents about it. Um, firstly, I mean I'm going to show you a bit of history here, I've got a whole lot of my Nintendo handhelds, even going back to the first Donkey Kong, which was, you know, a fold open, uh, two screen system. Now there were, there were some Game & Watch, I don't have any, I always got the fold open ones though, but my, my sister did, I had one recently, I gave it back to her like, at Christmas, so I can't even show you in the video, but she had some of the single screen ones, you know. But um, this one even opened sideways there, as you can see, two screens, lifeboat. Um, we've got the course oil panic. Um, I don't know, one of my favorites, Squish. <laughs> so, Nintendo, when they first came on the market, they had fold open uh, gaming systems. And they had single screen ones, ones that didn't fold open. Um, now not long after Game & Watch, obviously the first Game Boy came out. That's my original Game Boy. Still works, even though the D-pad's gone sort of hard. Played a lot of MK on here. You know, Double Dragon, Ninja Turtles, Super Mario Land. I mean, Super Mario Land 2's in there at the moment. Um, this was a, probably one of the best handhelds ever. I mean, the battery life you got out of it was amazing. I mean, the screen was black and white, but that was sort of part of the charm of it. Um, this was a, a, a great, a great thing, and this didn't fold open, so, you might be saying, but look, you know, they all pretty much fold open now, well, remember, even the GBA, when it came out, the first GBA, it didn't fold open, it was like that, when the SPs came out, then they started folding open, now, around this time, around the time of the SP and that, um, you know, I used to, I worked in computer stores, so I've always hung around, um, you know, gaming stores, computer stores, all this stuff, and um, I've got a bit of knowledge when it comes to this stuff. The number one complaint with GBA SPs was that the hinge was broken. How do I get the hinge fixed? My, my kid's broken the thing. Because you know what kids are like, they, just, they rip it open. They don't, you know, when I, when I open, I've only got my DS here, I don't have an SP. When I open it, I open it slowly and let the screen click into place. But the kid doesn't do it. The kid's like, let's play! And they rip it open and they put too much stress. They, they push the, the, the screen too far, you know. They don't care. Because they didn't pay for it. You know, when you start paying for everything yourself, you start being, you know, you start looking after things more. So, you know, you get a lot of parents come in and be like, you know, how do I get the hinge replaced? Take it up with Nintendo. Take it up with Nintendo. We, you know how many people I, we used to send for Nintendo for this issue? Heaps. Tons, and and this went on even through the DS. I mean, that's the DS, my original DS. There, this is what we call a DS fat because it's sort of chunky. Um, but you can see it's got the one hinge there. I saw a lot of those broken in my time, and same with the uh, the DS Lite, even more so because it had a hinge on each side, and they they were notorious for breaking. I saw a lot of broken DS lights. Even my friends worked in, you know. In EB games, I used to see people come in all the time. Oh, how do I get this fixed? You know, and um, now we've got the original 3DS, which I've got. That's my original 3DS. Um, as you can see, I've got the fold open one. You know, the hinge. You can see they they've made adjustments to it, so it doesn't look as easy to break. But you can still push that too far. You know what I mean? So the reason I'm mentioning all this about the hinges is you you could say. Has Nintendo gone loopy by having something with no hinges on it? I don't think they have. I think they've actually come up with something pretty smart. I mean, throughout the history of Nintendo's handhelds here, we've got ones that fold open and ones that don't. Uh, at the end of the day, they're both good products. And I think certain ones are suitable for, for certain ages. Like, for example, the Game Boy was suitable for every kid. This thing was chunky. It was strong. It had something over the screen here. The screen was actually under this piece of plastic. You know, the battery life was great. You could, if this got scratched, it didn't matter. 
you know. Um, you could get replacement screens for this. I'm not joking. I've got one upstairs. This plastic piece, this plastic piece that goes over the actual screen, you could replace. I've got one upstairs. You've got a little tool, you pop the old screen out and put the new one in. I'm not even joking. That's the sort of age we... It was like back then. It was all about the accessories, you know, but... Nintendo's always had very good handhelds. Um... With the 3DS, um, my, my friend brought up recently, would would I get a, um, would I recommend getting a 3DS for his kid when he was four? I said no, because I knew his kid's a bit rough, um, and I could see him being rough with a $300 new handheld system. Do you know what I mean? So he still doesn't have a 3DS, but if he asked me that today, I'd say probably get the 2DS and put the screen protectors on, because, you know, he's got an iPad mini now and that. But um, it's it's the 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 2DS looks a lot more strong. It's thick. Looks like it's a lot more durable, better for younger players. The only thing is that obviously when you've got a, a a system that folds open and folds closed, you actually protect the screens when it's closed. So that's a good thing. If you've got something open like this and the kid's going to throw it in their bag or something, that's no good. The screen's going to get really scratched. So you have to get screen protectors for the um for the 2DS. That's that's the only thing I'd recommend. Screen protectors set you back it's ten bucks, five bucks. They're, they're not even expensive. You can get any cheap branded one as long as you just got something over the screen to protect it from scratching. Um even my phone. My iPhone I've got you can see it's a, it's like mirrored but that's that's a screen protector. Yeah, that way I know the glass will never break if I've got that on there. So when I first saw the 2DS, I'm like, the thing that threw me was it looked a bit goofy. The shape is a bit goofy, I'll admit. Um, but the buttons, you can see on the 3DS here, the buttons, uh, the thumbs always sort of just come up from the bottom, and where the thumbs end, the sort of controls were. But it, it seemed like on this new one that some of the buttons were higher up, like up here and up here, and I thought it would feel weird to play, but then I grabbed my 3DS and I imagined the buttons were up here, and, I was, and I'm holding it, imagining that the buttons were here, and that this was more flat. It's actually not bad. Um, that being said, I haven't actually held a 2DS, but um, I don't think the position of the buttons would be an issue. I don't think the folding is an issue, like everyone's making out. In fact, Nintendo gives you a little zip-up bag with it, which is pretty cool. Um, I'd still recommend getting the screen protectors, though. Um, it just adds that extra layer of protection for five bucks, you know. Um, obviously, when you get these things fixed, it's expensive. So, invest the five bucks and never have to worry about the screens. Um, you know, I'll even say it. When I got the Wii U and my my nephews and nieces were coming down at Christmas time. It had just come out. I just got it brand new. The first thing I bought was a, a shield for it. And <laughs> one of my friends in EB said it. He said, wow, you didn't trust your nephews with it? I go, frankly, no. They're kids. That's not that kids do things deliberately. It's just kids don't think the way adults think, you know? I'm going to spend the $15 on a, a shield and they can play it all they want and I don't have to worry about it. And I don't want to have to be... You know, if something did happen, I don't want to be the bad uncle who goes, Oh, you broke my new thing, and I shouldn't have let you play with it. You know what I mean? Like, it's better just to pay the $15, get them the, the shield, and let them have fun and, and not worry about it. And I didn't worry about it. I sat here, and my nephew was playing Nintendo Land, and I'm just sitting here watching him play Nintendo Land. I didn't play Nintendo Land. He was beating all those, those stages, and, and so, yeah, you know, the... There's certain ways to go about things. You know, I don't have the shield on anymore. I took it off when I left. Because, like, frankly, like, you know, I don't like it. It looks a bit junky to me. But, um, I'm fine with having screen protectors on my phone. I'm fine with having screen protectors on these, although I don't really need them. You know, um, as far as the 2DS goes, um, not only is it a new shape and everything, so it plays all the 3D games, but there's no 3D mode. So you lose the 3D mode, you don't get a clamshell style system, and um, it's cheaper. So the price point is 40 US cheaper. Uh, now someone, uh, someone on Facebook recently said, "Oh, 40 bucks, it's not that much." 
It actually is. I mean, here in, in Australia, a 3DS at the moment is 238 bucks. That's quite a bit. Um, with the price change, Nintendo Australia has, has announced that the 2DS is going to be $150. That's almost not, well, that is $90 off the, the price tag. It's almost 100 bucks off. That's a big, big saving here in Australia. And I'm guessing it's the same in the US. 40 US goes a lot further than the US. I'm, I assume that's, a, that's quite a saving in the US. Um, not everyone has that extra money to spend, you know, or it's harder for them to save that extra 40 or 100 bucks. So, you know, a lot of people don't even use the 3D. I use the 3D. Um, but there's certain times when I turn it off, like when I'm on the bus, I find, well, sometimes I have it on, but sometimes it gets to me, I, I, I switch the 3D off. Or if I'm, like, lying in bed and I'm in a funny position, because you've got to look at it straight on when you're using the 3D, I'll turn the 3D off. Uh, my friends who have 3DSs don't use the 3D at all. They leave it off. So for them, the 3D isn't a big thing. I mean, I, I really like the 3D. I, I think it's really awesome. Um, you know, I'd show you, actually, I was going to hold it up to the camera, but you can't see it anyway. I'm playing Professor Layton at the moment. But um, I think the 2DS is, is actually quite a nice system. Um, it looks ugly, like, the shape doesn't look great. I think that's more to tap into the tablet market. But I think it would grow on people if they gave it a bit of a chance. I mean, they're just seeing it and going, Ugh, what the fuck is that? Sort of thing, you know, and, and overreacted. I think it is a big overreaction. I mean, it's kicking along. <laughs> I never knew it had such a cool title screen piece of music. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I think... If people are going to complain and say, oh, I, I want one that closes and, and uh, I want the 3D mode, pay the 40 bucks extra. You know, what, what's the point in hating on the 2DS? Just because you say, 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 I have to have one that folds close and I have to... If you want that, you can have it. Pay the extra money. Not everyone has that money to pay. You know, and some people are quite happy to play the 3DS games in 2D for 100 bucks, 40 bucks cheaper. You know, and that shape's not going to be an issue with them. It's still got all the online and everything, so I don't know what people are worried about. Um, I, don't, I think it's a bit of an overreaction. I think it's a bit of a latest trend lately is to just overreact, and and it may even be a ploy by Nintendo and Xbox. They probably like all the publicity, you know. I mean, Xbox, you know, all the look how much publicity they got out of it. I mean, it wasn't good publicity. But, you know, I've always said there's no such thing as bad publicity because you get the word out about your product. Even if it's bad, everyone knows now that there's a new Xbox coming. Whereas they might not have known that before, you know? And it could be the same with Nintendo and this 2DS. You know, they're probably loving that everyone's saying, oh, it looks hideous. Nintendo makes the, the, some of the best games in the world. It doesn't matter, you know, how many people say, oh, you know, the Wii U's fail and... And I don't play Nintendo anymore, but I like Mario and Zelda. It doesn't matter, because Nintendo owns what, what you just said. They own Metroid, Zelda, Mario, Luigi, all those games, Donkey Kong. They own all those characters, and those characters sell. No matter what you believe, that you'd never buy a Wii U. It doesn't matter when the parents are still buying. Sure, they might have a, a lower market. But they're still selling a shitload of Mario and a shitload of Zelda and a shitload of Donkey Kong. Nintendo's not going anywhere. They're not. They own the portable market. They, oh, you can see right here, they've owned the portable market since, I don't know, when? 1982? The Donkey Kong? You know, earlier. I don't know when the first Game & Watch came out. But, you know, Game & Watch, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, DS, uh, DS... 3DS. You know, people have come close. I mean, Sega had Game Gear, they had one handheld, disappeared. Actually, no, sorry, my bad. They had Game Gear and then they had a Nomad, which was a portable Mega Drive. That thing's, I've got one, that thing's awesome. Um, then they had, uh, there was an Atari Lynx, that, that was, they had two models, Lynx 1, Lynx 2, but they were the same system, really. Just a redesign. Um, there was, what else? What other handheld? There's been uh, PSP, which I didn't think was that great. 
uh, and Vita. Vita is doing a, a slightly better than other handhelds, so not people haven't really come close to taking on Nintendo. Their their foothold is that strong on the portable market. They make good quality products. I've I've never been disappointed with anything on Nintendo. The only thing, one thing I was disappointed was the DS had an amazing battery life and amazing speakers and that. And I wanted a DS Lite for so long because the screens were, were quite a bit better. The battery life was reduced, but it was still like eight hours or something, but then the speakers were crap in the DS Lite, which was a disappointment. Um, the 3DS is great, but the battery runs down really quick. I put this thing in sleep mode and, it, and it's dead in, in a day. Whereas, I'm not joking, if I put, if I fully charge my DS and put it in sleep mode, I've, I've heard stories of it, the charge lasting a few years. I'm not even lying. That's how good these products are. So, I think people are overacting with the 2DS. If you haven't seen it, here's some photos of it. Um, yeah, that's my take on it. I just wanted to get that off my chest because I'm just seeing hate everywhere at the moment. And I wanted to just chime in and uh, give my opinion. So, thanks for watching. And I'll see you for my next video soon. Peace out.